Priestley Demolition has made a name for themselves on high-profile jobs across the province. Running the demo gamut from buildings to bridges, they are relied upon to clear the way for new innovation and infrastructure. But sometimes that demolition isn't planned. At times, they're called in on an emergency basis, and at the Badminton and Racquet Club, that was exactly the case. The Toronto Badminton and Racquet Club was established in 1924, using former TTC barns in the then remote area of Young and St. Clair. But it has since seen the city grow up around it. When a fire ripped through large sections of the historic building, the density of the surrounding development was a major factor in fighting the inferno and the subsequent cleanup. An active club membership means reconstruction is a top priority, so Priestley Demolition was called in to clear the affected areas efficiently and safely. Everyone's concerned about a building that's been damaged by a fire. How long will it stay? Will it fall? Which way will it fall and how will that affect the neighbors? This is a partial demolition, meaning that there are sections that remain salvageable for the rebuild. So this is the lobby of the Toronto Badminton and Racquet Club. Um, essentially, the north structure that was damaged by the fire, we're demolishing, so the guys are on the other side of this wall. This staircase and this entire lobby are being maintained. Uh, the structure was compromised from the second level down to the ground floor slab. The basement wasn't damaged, so that's being maintained. This is going to be the, the cut line, so we're going to be doing a lot of hand removals to make sure that this finish is, is clean for the structure that's staying. So this part of the building, the roof was damaged extensively from the fire. They did manage to stop it in and around this area, but as you can see, there's still a ton of damage, a ton of debris. So for this area, they're going to maintain the building. However, we need to go and hand remove all the roof and clean the floor structure. With half of the building remaining open and occupied, Priestley Demolition has undertaken a variety of measures to ensure the safety of those within that space and those around it. Working a machine that's 160,000 pounds, but we've had to shore up the basement, which immediately now keeps their fire system going so that the, the, the sprinkler service can still maintain the other half of the building that will remain open, as well as it keeps them out of the ground when we go to do the rebuild. In addition to the shoring, the crew has installed scaffolding and barriers in areas where neighboring buildings are in tight proximity. The safety measures are in place, and Priestley has already begun to demolish sections of the structure. Operating in such tight confines means that space is at a premium. There is a bit of juggling involved. We can only demo so much before we have to clean. So we'll go in with the bigger machine, take as much bulk as we can, and then the smaller machine will come behind, do the cleanup, load the bins, but we have to, we have to make sure we maintain a certain process and achieve that. In addition to safely bringing down the badly damaged portion of the building, PDI is also being mindful of the environment. They sort and separate the debris and clean materials on site. Demolition and cleanup are working in a solid two-man rotation until they come up against a particularly challenging section of the demo. Now we're coming to the concrete structure where the main fire was and I suggest to do part of that by hand. The chimney for sure, yeah. we have to bring the 80 foot zoom boom and do the chimney and after we might do part of the wall by hand before we can chew at the building. Do you want to do both chimneys, Greg, by hand? Yes. So you got to clean the inside, you got to drop the chimney, drop the wall, and then go to the next bay. A crew brings the chimney stacks down by hand to avoid any risk to surrounding buildings. With them out of the way, it's clear sailing 
until it's time to remove a portion of the gym. Uh, so right now we're doing the last step, which is we're gonna lower this 80 foot zoom boom into the badminton court. We can only reach so far from outside the building. The lift won't go any further. So the only way is to get a lift in there. And then we're gonna remove all the damaged roof structure. Stefan, push the tire out. Push the tire. Okay, Stefan, now grab the rope. Down, down, he's on place. With all the necessary tools in place, Priestley Demolition assaults the last damaged portions of this building, bringing them down in a timely and safe manner. That's it, done. Everything went well and today we're just wrapping up, clean it up and go for the next one. And with the final crash, this neighborhood landmark can begin to rebuild, thanks in large part to Priestley Demolition.